What if your perceived friends aren't actually looking out for your best interest? You're here because you have a few of them around you, and by the end of this video, you'll have a clear way of separating the true ones from the fake ones. So let's play a game. See how many of these you identify with for those around you. Here are 15 signs you're surrounded by snakes. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, they think they're more deserving of the good things you have than you are. Simply put, they want what you have. They're not jealous, they're envious, meaning they would trade you in for the achievements you have, be it personal or professional. In their eyes, they're smarter, more talented, and work harder. So why is the world unfair to them? They think that everything good in your life is not the result of your effort. It was just given to you. Our rewards in life are based directly on our contribution. Let the snakes enjoy what life has in store for them. Number two, they're willing to sacrifice you to get what they want. These people would actively do you harm if it meant that they could get what they want. They would gladly step on you to climb higher. They see you as some kind of ladder. Be careful because they're going to betray your trust. They're going to snitch on you if it gives them an advantage. They hold on to sensitive information, shared with them in confidence, just so they can use it when the time is right. What they don't know is that they need you far more than you need them. That's when your entire perspective on the relationship changes. Number three, they only show up when you cut the cake. You won't see them when times are hard. We call them shadow friends because they only show up when it's sunny outside. They're only there when things are good. They want some of your celebratory cake but they're not interested in bringing any of the ingredients to help or put in any effort required in baking the cake. Pay attention to see who's around you when times are good and see how many of them are still around when times are bad. Fake poverty, fake misery, and watch them run away. Number four, they talk about others behind their backs. Here's a rule to remember. If they gossip about others with you, they gossip about you with others. Pay attention to people interested in finding out dirt on other people. They use it as ammo in order to shift public perception. These snakes usually pit friends against friends to serve their own purpose. Either distance yourself from these kinds of snakes or allow them to choke on their own venom. Now, those of you who have the Alux app on your phones, you know about last week's wisdom story, the Sultan and the Vizier, and what kind of impact the jealous ones and their gossip can have. By the way, the stories on the app are completely free. Just go to alux.com app, download it, and you're getting highly valuable content without any cost. Number five, they don't care about you, only what you can bring to the table. For them, you're just a tool. You're there to serve their purpose. When a tool is no longer useful, they'll get rid of you just like they would with a broken wheel. Be very careful of friendships based on utility, especially if it's one-sided. People will try to chain you to them because they're parasitic. They'll want your money, your time, your connections, and offer you very little in return. But the good thing about this is you clearly have value, otherwise people wouldn't sit alongside you. Know what you bring to the table and never be afraid to eat alone. Progress is made individually. You're out there busting your ass to make as much progress in life while they're here to piggyback off your efforts. If that's all they do, cut them out. Number six, they have expectations of you. They act like you owe them your time. They expect you to behave in certain ways that please them or help them fulfill their wishes and demands. Not for one second do they realize you're doing all of this as a favor to them. 
They're actively taking your time for granted and are even annoyed if you question it or if you don't sacrifice the things that are important for you on behalf of the things that are important for them. Number seven, it's only promises and excuses. They never do anything for you, really. They only make plans. They say they'll change, that big things are coming if you only did this one more thing for them. And even when it doesn't happen, it's always someone else's fault. Something external happened, something way out of their control. They're never there for you. They're never there on time. They're never there by their own accord. Number eight, they push you toward temptation. These people don't want you to do well because it scares them. They're afraid that if you're doing well, you won't be in a position for them to control and manipulate you anymore. They want you weak. These are people that offer you junk food when you're trying to lose weight. They're the people who offer you a drink or a cigarette when you've explicitly told them that you're trying to quit. These are people who push you to talk to someone else, although you've got someone waiting for you back home. They say things like, this'll be the last time, or just try one glass. They don't respect you enough to obey your wishes and be part of the solution. Instead, they're pushing temptation onto you. Number nine, they play down your achievements. A big rule of spotting snakes in your life is, be careful who doesn't clap when you win. Keep your eyes open for them. They hate it when you make progress because that means the gap between you and them is growing. So what do they do? They minimize or trivialize it. They'll say it's not a big deal. They'll compare your achievement to Hall of Famers just so you feel small. They attribute it to context, not your effort. They're trying to plant seeds of doubt in your mind. When they look at your achievements, they say, you got lucky, if only I was lucky. That's how the have-nots try to justify it. Number 10, they blame you for their problems. Have you ever noticed how you're guilty of the bad things happening in their lives? It's definitely not their poor choices, no, no, it's always you. You're the cause of their misery, or so they present it. For them, you act as their scapegoat. Everything good in their life is because of them. Everything bad is because of you. They make you feel bad for them. They make you feel guilty for what's happened in their life. They make you feel guilty for what happened to them. It is all emotional abuse and manipulation. Number 11, they're always digging for personal info. They invite themselves into your private life and almost feed off of it. They want to know about your partner, about the issues you two have, and all of it gets stored in their internal memory. It's kind of creepy, actually. They're always digging. They always have an opinion. They want to know about everything, not because they care, but because they're looking for vulnerabilities. What they're actually looking for is specific buttons they can push in order to manipulate you. Be careful about those who walk in uninvited. Number 12. They always ask how much things cost. It's like they're drawing a map of your financial life or something. These people always ask you how much you paid for stuff. They ask how much you earn, how much the holiday was, how much the car was, how much the ring was, the home, the bag, everything. They are obsessed. For some reason, if they understand the flow of money and wealth, they believe they can be better judges of where you're situated on their personal hierarchy of importance. They're clout chasers and parasitic in nature, so they're trying to figure out if it's worth it for them to feed off of you. Number 13, they take credit for your ideas and hard work. You see them do this in the workplace all the time. It's the middle management people that almost never do anything, apart from taking credit for the work people below them do. They're generally less intelligent or skilled than the actual workers, but they've invested in social skills and are masters at kissing up. 
you'll find them also in your friend group. They hear you say something smart or a joke, and then they take the opportunity to repeat it as if it was their own take later on. These people wish they were something else, so they're stealing in order to camouflage their incompetence. Number 14. They bring small gifts expecting big gifts in return. This is a classic manipulation technique. Actually, pay attention to unwanted gifts. People will push them on you even though you didn't ask for them. But by doing this, they're trying to force your hand into reciprocating the act. That's their way of getting their foot in the door for a request. They might even go to the extent of exaggerating just how big of a gift it was so they can ask for more and more from you. Number 15. They drain and exhaust you. You know this too well. There are some people around you where after you spend some time with them, you feel tired and depleted of energy. These snakes are energy vampires. You feel like you have to be on guard when you're with them. It's never effortless and never really enjoyable. If spending time with someone feels like work, you better be getting paid for doing it. So. How many of these 15 do you recognize in the people around you? Let us know in the comments. You might want to send this video to the group chat. They'll start freaking out. And as for those of you still watching, of course, here's your reward. Today's bonus is anti-venom. The last thing you want to do is be oblivious to the snakes. That makes you fragile and easy to kill. Never underestimate other people's desire to climb the social or material ladder at your expense. Although a smile and trust goes a long way, you should never put yourself in a position where everything you've built can be brought down from within. Be careful who you let in and ensure you have anti-venom by your side. The only way to become immune is by increasing your strength. This acts in two ways. One, it keeps the snakes away because they don't want to mess with such a powerful force. And two, even if they do attack, you're strong enough to survive it. Your value lies in who you are and what you're able to build day in and day out. People who are using the Alux app on the daily have gotten specific training on this for quite a while now. And since you're an insider with the Alux community watching these videos until the very end, we want to let you know that next Sunday, we're about to announce the next iteration of the Alux app with even more value to the people who already have it at the same cost. Our entire business strategy relies on giving you so much value, you kind of feel guilty not taking full advantage of it. By the end of the year, you'll be getting over $20,000 worth of value for the $99 paid for the subscription. Do with that information whatever you wish. If you've made it to the very end of this video and think you've got what it takes to tackle the snakes in your life, write the word ANTI in the comments. We all know it stands for anti-venom, and the snakes should be wary of you. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next, or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.